On. Okay, great. There we go. So tell us your name. Tell us what you do. And then we can just jump right into this. Okay. Um, I am Crystal Morell. I go by the name Queen Sweets. I am a baker. I specialize in no-bake truffle desserts. Oh. Yeah. They're banging. And I'm not even saying that because they are. I make them myself, but they are banging. Did you bring some today? I did not bring any today. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm like swamped I'm with orders with right now. Right it's now. my busy season. So, you know, everybody who, if you don't want to bake, you can look me up. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. You can look me up at Checkmate Sweets, LLC. Nice. Okay. Plug. And I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry right now. My mouth is watering. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Lucy Rodriguez. I'm also known as Lulu Destiny Rios. And I'm an upcoming recording artist, independent recording artist. And I'm also going to be a guest a host on a new series, web series called Vent T Talk. And it'll be on YouTube as the beginning of January. Nice. Mm-hmm. nice. I love your eyelashes, too. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you guys are pretty, sh- pretty sure you know who this is. Y'all already know is. who I am. <laughs> Make sure y'all tune in every final Thursday of the month. Fashion Chat with Kat. If you want to be a guest on the show, make sure you put your information or inbox me. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. <laughs> so we were here talking about, you know, being strong, independent women and, and, you know, being able to accept that sometimes you do need a little bit of help, right? How do how does that factor in with, with your business? Or do you have people helping you or are you doing I this on your own? I do not. And mm-hmm. it's so... It becomes overwhelming because I'm also a single mom. Mm. Shout out to Kalia. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, I was Hi, soon to be three year old. So being a single mom and you know doing a business by myself, working from home by myself, it can be a lot of overwhelming. I have to you know prioritize and do my time management wisely because otherwise I'll get super overwhelmed and just not want to do anything. Yeah, no, I feel totally get it. And what about you, Miss Lulu? Well, I have four boys and two girls. That's what we were talking to you earlier. And it wasn't Ooh. easy. I was a single mom for a while until I met my husband. And my husband, now I have three other children with him. He adopted and gave, uh, raised, helped me raise my three oldest. My daughter, Kimberly, who's 18. Hi, Kim. She's Hi. watching right now. <laughs> my oldest son, Eric, and my son, Justin. And then I have three other ones, Nicholas, Ciara, and Ethan. Shout out to them. Thank you. Shout, Shout out, out to, to my husband, Angel. I mean, thank you. If it wasn't for my husband that I'm with now, I want to be the strong woman that I am today because I was very weak at one time, like we all were at one time in our life, and I never asked for help. Mm. Shout out to strong men out there. Yeah. <laughs> and because of him, I mean, seriously, Angel, if you're watching, I love you, and I want to thank you for loving me and making me the woman I am today. Oh, you make me cry. Oh, my God. That. So we were, <laughs> talking about this because I was telling that I can identify with it. Though I am a lesbian, I feel like a lot of women nowadays, heterosexual women, they need to be able to accept help from the man and understand that. You know what I'm saying? And it has nothing to do with being submissive. It's a total difference between being submissive and being able to accept help and be able to welcome it. And You know what I'm saying? And not come up and, and fight them on every single, you know, every single thing. Well, you know? we're- where it stems from, you know, as, you know, us minority women, you know, our moms always teach us, you know, become that strong, independent exactly. woman. We're yeah, not, exactly. We're, exactly. when we're weak yep. and we have to depend on someone else, it's like, oh, well, she's That's weak, right. she can't do it for herself. Yeah. No, we've yep. been ingrained from birth to always do what you're supposed to do, do what you got to do. Don't, don't respond to no man, don't need no man yeah. to help you out, you can do it. And now we're at the point where, you know... We need help, and the hardest thing to do is ask for help. Exactly. Because we don't want to seem like, you know, we're a failure. Exactly. But it's all about getting help yeah. from the right type of place. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, am, I can identify as far as being, you know, set in my ways and, and knowing what I want and being able to be comfortable with the fact that I all I have is me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then yeah. one day you wake up in the morning and be like, it really doesn't have to be like it's like you yeah. don't have to be yeah. Yeah, struggling trying to do yeah. everything on your own and it's okay to accept and, it from someone and you know? if i could piggyback on what you said like to me like my friends even my husband's like look you know you're too stubborn to ask for help yeah 
And then my friends get angry with me. You do everything for everybody else, Lulu, but you don't ever do nothing for yourself. <laughs> you don't want to ask us for help. That's what we're here for. <laughs> I'm kind of a person that I've been independent for so long, for so long in my life, mm -hmm. you know, until I met my husband. It's like, you know, that's all I know. That was the world that I knew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Self-independent. Yep. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. And I am very, I'm still living in that life as far as me being self-sufficient. But now, I, you know, I'm more so ready to be like, okay, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to Yay. accept the fact that, you know what I'm saying? You can't be a hoe forever. So <laughs> I, <laughs> you can't be like, you won't tell nobody. <laughs> like you, there's a point in your funny. life where you have to realize, like, listen, this, this, this play of life is not where you want to be. And it, you know, and, and I have to step back and, you know, and then also I'm also raising my little brother. Uh, you guys don't know. Uh, I raised my little brother as my God son. Bless you. Yeah. Oh, so amazing. I've had that's him amazing. since he was five. Yeah. So, God you know, bless. thank you. That's my baby. You're, you're 17 you're now. You're a mom and a sister to mom. Yeah. Mom, so. I call him the bro son. So <laughs> shout out to Damari. He gets on my last nerves. Shout out to but, little bro. Yeah, but I'm definitely trying to raise him to be an independent man and to be able to, you know what I'm saying, Asset, assess a situation as far as dating women and being able to, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. help out. Don't be no yeah. couch video game brother. Like don't right. be that brother yeah. that you wait, you wait for your girlfriend to buy you sneakers. Like come on. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like you know, don't be one of those type of people, you know? I totally agree. Very well said. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Well said. Thank, you. Well Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because it, it drives me crazy when I see that. Yeah. When I meet girls or whatever, and they're like, yeah, you know, but I'm going to support him because I'm going to ride or die, and we struggling right now, but I know oh, that he, no, you know, and I'm just like, it's got to be 50-50. It's got to be halfway, halfway. Halfway. 50-50. Halfway. You know what? Honestly, what I learned, it got to be 100-100. If I'm not 100% of myself, I can't give you all of me. You that's know what I'm right. saying? You don't want yeah, nobody that's, that's right. pieces yeah. pieces and broken. Yeah. And it's okay sometimes. It's, I'm not saying not to date broken people. But what I'm saying is you got to date somebody who's able to be aware of them being broken. Yeah. It's all about being self-aware so that their, their pain doesn't cause you pain. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. We can't always be a rehab facility. No. no. I agree. I agree. Captain you can't Sam. be everyone's medicine either. No, no. you can't. You can't <laughs> help yeah, everyone. You can't feed them all the medicine yeah. that, 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 that they need to have to do for themselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. They got to want it. If you're for doing themselves. everything exactly. for them, it's like you can't really work on yourself. Exactly. And it's, it's, it takes so much energy out of you, and it'll get to a point where mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to do the things that you need to do or yeah. – even you know go for 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 your kids because it's like right. you're pushing all that energy out there and it's like you're not getting anything back you got to you got to make sure whoever you're with is is giving you that full balance whether exactly. it's a guy whether it's a girl exactly. you know i don't judge that's yeah. mommy and bae. No, you can't. Yeah. Hell yeah. no. Mommy and bae. Exactly. No. Been there, done that. And I Pick know a struggle. Mm -hmm. And listen, and, I'm not, and I don't want to sound like I'm preaching because I've been there where I was like taking care of people who I, you know, that I dated or whatever. But I'm just saying right now, in my, my grownness, my mm -hmm. grownness, I will not, I'm not doing that again. Unless you're helping me out and I'm helping you out. And it's like a, a balanced type of situation. You know? Yeah, I'm not doing that, that struggle of no, no more. No. No. Not at all. That. Not at all. At all so let's talk about women owning your own your own business right what kind of support do you have though even though you're independent you're, you're doing this on your own do you have any support system helping you i have my best friend okay Catherine she is my support system her, yeah, so cool. her family has been they are my support system they are my support Aww. team and it's always good to have if you don't have a huge circle if you got one or two people that support you, you ride need. or die for them yeah. and she'll tell you I, I do ride or die like I'm about to put you on blast but so last weekend <laughs> um, <laughs> we had a little get together for her birthday and I cooked all night on my feet I cooked chicken I made some fried she chicken I made her up. favorite uh, cake <laughs> salmon salad that I made nice. and I made her red velvet cake and some truffles. Girl, you're making me hungry. So, yes. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I didn't even have dinner yet. I go, I go all out. For those who support me. Yes. I, you make me cry again. <laughs> Don't make me cry. But sisterhood is everything. And it's what so, about you? Me? Yeah. As far as? Having your support system. Like, Who's oh, I have a support you? system. Um, my husband is, first of all, Jesus Christ and Lord Almighty. Amen. Can't, yeah. can't, can't, can't be without him. Can't live with him, can't live without him, but I can't live without my, my savior. Um, my husband, my kids, mm -hmm. um, 
I want to give a shout out to my husband, my kids, Leo, Alexa, Steven, Georgie. Hey, I'm on TV. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have I have a, a support system. My my babysitter Angie too. You know, she's like more than a babysitter. She's family. You know, and I have very few friends that I could count on. My ride or die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather keep my circle small. That's mm-hmm. good. Because then if it, like, gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it's just more problems. Yeah. And more, problems and more mm-hmm. drama. And I, I want to live my life drama-free. No, it's all about, you know, cleaning the energy around you. Exactly. Like, Positive you know, energy. Yeah. I sage my house every time somebody comes over. I, I bless sage. my house, I bless too. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Yes. I don't got the time. Olive oil. You seen the video <laughs> when I when I did the stage in the house? Listen, I walk around my house and I and I'll talk. I talk to the, you know the spirits. I'm like, whoever don't need to be up in here, you gotta go. Whoever's good and means good, you could stay. You could get a ride if you're hungry. I put some food out for you. <laughs> You nope, feed the spirits. Right. Yes, the spirit. listen, I put some coconuts out there. You put a little there. candle there. You feed the spirits. I got my little you know, altar and yeah. everything. Little listen. Altar. There's nothing wrong with that, baby girl. Yes. I'll, even if that. I feel like if I'm sitting in my living room and I feel a little, like, awkward or something, I'll open my front door and I'll be like, get out. Yeah. <laughs> my son be like, what the hell is wrong? But it's wrong? all good vibes. It's all yes. good vibes. You it's always vibes. need to surround yourself with, with positive. Like, I do the same thing, too. If I wake up in the middle of the night and I don't be feeling good, I'll be like, Lord, listen. Mm-hmm. Whoever is in here, whatever's in here, if you have not from God, if you is not God saying, you better get out right you now. Out. Hello. Oh, there's going to be no. some problems. Don't make no. me go and grab my yes. olive oil. It's right. going to be a problem. And the devil is a liar. Yes. <laughs> Big time. Three minutes. Yes, yes, yes. So what about you? What about your support system? Well, my support system is my best friend and my husband. Um, they're always there for me whenever I, I need any help on any decisions that I have to make. Um, for the go- people who don't know, um, I do have my own uh, casting agency. It is digital. Um, I do most of the work I do um, is like for actors and models and different things like <clears> that. <throat> <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of years ago, I did manage a few people, but um, it wasn't uh, a positive outcome. So I did uh, dissolve my agency. But you know, the support system is so important because you need that positive reinforcement. Because there's so many times where I just wanted to be like, I am so done. Yeah. I'm done with this. It them with people do it anymore and you know my support system always tells me like don't pay no mind to that you know just re-strategize and keep going you know 2019 is coming up there's gonna be some changes Mm -hmm. i hope you down (laughs) i hope you down but definitely it's so amazing and you know you have to remember that positive outlook always reflects on what you're giving out so if someone is giving you positive reinforcement you could always give out positiveness to other people too and all those negative people you delete them out of your life there was too many times Amen. I put them in the garbage in my life Get rid of because them. I was like you know I feel bad for them I feel bad for them I want them around and then you know what it got to the point where it was just like it was too aggravating yeah. so I would delete it, it you drains I would lock you. you you were out of my life boo <laughs> I go by, you know, mind over matter. Those exactly. who mind don't matter. Those who matter don't exactly. mind. Exactly. So listen, we'll be right back with Girl Talk. I'm having so much fun with you guys. I, we listen, we pajamas and, and you know and like you yes. know oh my gosh, donuts that target. Stuff. Make sure you guys go. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 No, you can match with. Your- He's got me. He's guilty. Of love. What I'm saying. What she's is, dumb. She, she, she's just let, dumb. Let, what is more? You her? dumb. Like, you first dumb. of all, you're getting a free meal, okay? Who are you to say, don't pull out a credit card? Then you pay for it. And then okay? Exactly. Right. Exactly. I don't like, care if you got this restaurant on Groupon, okay? <laughs> if I'm not paying, okay. Listen, Groupons are good. I love Groupon. Groupon. Is, yeah, I am really a Groupon good. dater, okay? okay? I actually got like pole dancing classes from Groupon. It was like $25 a yes. piece. They were really, really good. Is your mic on? Is your mic on? Oh, yeah, it's off. Please look at that. It's okay. We got you, boo. We got Ooh, you back. Who? We got you. We Hello? Hello? There we go. We back. <laughs> 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 <laugh
<laughs> so, yeah, she's, she just sounds really dumb. She said you didn't take me out on a date because you pulled out a credit card. First of all, you need to appreciate that brother with credit because okay. he's somebody who could buy a car. He's somebody who right. could buy a house exactly. because he has credit. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things in this world that you can't do. She's young and dumb. Yeah, she's young and she's dumb. An she got an idiot. Like, I think that she, she just... She's probably been dating too many drug dealers. Oh, oh. Okay. Right. She oh, oh. And you finally got dinner. yourself a, a, a decent man who's like, oh, okay, I'm trying to build my credit. I'm trying to get this house for you. I'm trying to get this car. But you want to be upset over a credit card? That is so ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like I said before when I was talking with Charles, throw her in the garbage. It's a whole check. <laughs> Yeah. Throw her, the whole thing sure just the throw her in the top. garbage absolutely <laughs> you can't smell it. so what about you guys though on a first date who do you think should pay do you think the guy should pay on the first date it depends who asks if I ask you on a date then that means okay I'm comfortable enough if I was comfortable for asking you first off then yeah I'm gonna pay I disagree. Okay. Well, when when I was dating and I wasn't you know married. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I would do is I would actually surprise the man and pay for the first date. And usually they would just be like, oh, my gosh, I'm in love. Mm-hmm. So that that would be my little secret thing that I would do. How and they would. Man. Yeah. What? Okay, what about you? Because <laughs> I'm just like, mm. I'm like sitting here like. With me, mm. with me, when I first met my husband, we went Dutch. Okay. We both chipped in because he wanted to pay. I said, no, let me pay. And he goes, no, let me pay. So, you know, we just said, screw it. Let's both do it. Oh, that's so sweet. I think the guy should pay for the first date. True, too. He should pay but, for the rest of the dates. No, right. <laughs> he should pay for everything. But hello, but no, but I'll that, pay that for was, the first one. First date, but, but from now, now he pays. Yeah, okay, uh, like, like, you know, like, now we go together. And plus, too, we didn't have much when we met. Yeah. We were just like you know, both coming out of bad relationships mm-hmm. on the rebound. We didn't have much. We were just we lost everything, and we just started when we met each other. We just clicked, and almost twenty years later, we're still together. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Goals. That's amazing. Congratulations. All right. So the next person who goes Dutch with me when we go on a date, we're just going to get married. <laughs> I'm mean, like, save your money. We got to go to Vegas. We could just buy some tickets and go to Vegas and get married. Vegas but, is so nice, yeah, though. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go renew my vows in Vegas. Oh, Vegas is so much fun. I went to Vegas and got fake married. There's places that you can go and they can they take wedding photos and you sign a fake oh, marriage certificate oh and they really? give you like a, yeah yeah I oh I still gotta do that, that. I, I had like five thousand views I made a fake wedding video and it was fun it, it was fun and people That's laughed fun. some okay most of the people cursed us out because they were pissed because we were faking when we came <laughs> home when we came home we had flowers in our house we had like our, our neighbor downstairs made this big board it was like congratulations oh and everything and we're like oh well sorry to tell you guys it was a prank. Sorry, but yeah, it's fine. My bad. Cool. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, my pastor was like, congratulations, I wish I would have married you. And I was like, oh, wow. you're going to hell. You know you're we are going to hell in a handbag <laughs> on the express bus. On the class. express bus. So you mentioned something. You said that if you ask him out on a date, you feel like you should pay. Do I'm you feel I like feel like I should pay, but I wouldn't be against paying if I asked him. So do you think that girls should ask guys out on dates, though? Uh, me personally, no, I wouldn't. Not anymore. I would not. Younger me, yeah. uh, but now, now nah, you good. I got a baby, so you know I got to keep my coins. Yeah, so. like I would never. I mean. Okay, and I'm just trying to put myself in the heterosexual girl perspective. I would never ask a guy on a date. Like, I, 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 would, I wouldn't do it. But, I mean, you never know what you might get if you don't I go mean, after it. I I'm not it. talking about, like, oh, let's go to some five-star restaurant. No, let's go to Starbucks. Let's get a coffee. Okay, you know, maybe nice. if I'm feeling a little bit more generous, let's go to Chipotle. Okay. But, I mean. <laughs> you could get the steak, like, baby. Oh, like okay. a date date. Oh, you want extra cheese? Day. Put that on there for guac, him. Yeah, get, get that. that. Oh, you want guacamole? Yeah. She got money. If sure you get guacamole, right. let me tell you something. I got cash app, and if y'all don't know cash app, just kick back. So you know, I get that five percent off if I go to Chipotle. So you know, you want to go to Chipotle? <laughs> sure get that guac, cash boo. Get that guac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys ask a guy out on a date? Me personally, no. Not unless it's something. I, okay, let me clarify that. I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, um, I want to take you out on a date i'll be like oh we need to go to this restaurant <laughs> oh yeah you would try to like be inconspicuous and like try to like play right. it off or whatever yeah. would you ask a guy out on a date back in the day yeah i did 
like a date date, like let's go sit down to a restaurant no, type date date. No, like you want to go to Mickey D. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You can get multiple things on the dollar menu. You can get over the dollar <laughs> oh, and if you have the McDonald's app, you could get like the signature meals for like two dollars. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, I know. The Happy yeah. Meal too. You got a toy. Yeah. You can get on the app. You can get signature. <laughs> on the app, yeah. The signature meals. You got to look for it. For the oh, kind of sandwich. That's and if the new. Yankees win, like they always have like free fry Friday. Yeah. So if the Yankees win that week, you get a, a free uh, large fries if you have the app. And so Dunkin' you know, Donuts. You do it. Oh. And Dunkin' Donuts too. Like, depending on what well, they're I know doing. Dunkin' Donuts, their rewards are really good because yeah. my friend goes and gets free lattes all the freaking time. Mm -hmm. I need to start getting up on this saving money yeah, stuff. You need to teach me yeah. some, yeah. some of your yes. you know I will. You know well, I will. I, so for those of you guys who don't know, I just learned this today. She's a cute couponer is that the word yeah coupons. couponer yeah and uh yeah and you know how to like save a lot of money do you go to the super and like fill your entire cart and then spend like four dollars yes crystal has actually like, yeah. been yes, a witness of my whole uh transaction dropping situation like the last time i did shopping for thanksgiving it wasn't as great but it was better than um other trips that i have done before I believe she's downplaying it uh, 560 and I got it down to like 195 196 what? yes 196 and even wow. the cashier was just like what girl you need to teach me because yes. I apologized to him I walked up to him and I was like listen I'm sorry and he was like for what I was like what I'm about to put you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I even told him I was like bro know. after this I was like you know what down. you might as well just turn your light off now because we're going to really? be here for a minute mm. yeah but it's 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 amazing. Like I'm in all. I'm still learning. But you have to have a lot of patience with doing okay. it. Okay. But are you one of those people who have your coupons ready, or do you have to go through your booklet while you're at the cashier? No, you never do that. You never wait until you're at the register to pull out your coupons. I always organize my coupons one before a shopping trip, and I always bring my binder with me just in case there are extra items that are on sale, so I can just go through my binder, clip it, and then put it in an envelope. So once they scan everything, I just hand it over to the cashier you, you got to make it simple for them because if you give them a hard time they're not going to want to be nice about it okay mm -hmm. i don't feel so bad now because i do coupons too <laughs> i thought i was just it's the, the way one. it's but the way it of saves life money yeah with the economy today it saves and helps you save money mm -hmm. it does, it does. Wow. her going to cvs yo her cvs trips need to be recorded because <laughs> she'll get like i mean a whole bunch of paper towels and toilet paper and pay like 40 cents and be like how did that happen like <laughs> <laughs> You'll just sit there and you see it all come off and come off and off and be like zero dollars. Like what? Yeah, cause yeah. At first, the managers were really skeptical of uh, me, huh? and uh, what ended up happening was that uh, they started watching my transactions more and more, and then they actually started being cool with me. And like one time. Oh, yeah, the dollar menu. Shout out to Ed Bartlett. <laughs> he's actually someone that I used to live in Phoenix, Arizona with. So shout out to you. And he said, dollar menu, L-O-L-T-I, you can get whatever you like. You can get whatever you like. <laughs> shout out to Ed. <laughs> That's funny. So we, we should like, send a camera with you one day and yeah. record this happening. It's like, it's so shocking and amazing all at the same time. And like it the is. people that are always around me watching, they're like, oh my gosh, there goes the coupon chick again. Oh my God. <laughs> you got a reputation. Yeah. They already know. You'll get the people behind us. <sighs> like, huh? And then when they see how much go down, they'll be like, yo, how did you do that? I'm like, mm -hmm, you was hating on me at first, but right. now you want to know my secrets. Now you want my coupons. Like, yes. I know you but want my But that's the thing, though. I know, like, with, with, with couponing and stuff like that, certain coupons you can't use with other coupons and stuff like that. Right. How does that work? Like, how do you know the magical ones? Um, It it really depends. Like, CVS is the easiest place to actually, what they call, it's called stacking. They You can stack coupons. So what happens is CVS has their own coupons that um, – they come from the store where you can get at like the red box. So when you go into the front of the store, that's usually the thing where you check the prices. Um, they have separate coupons that come out of there. And then you have manufactured coupons. They usually come from like coupons.com, um, retailmenot.com or smart source or even the newspapers on Sunday. So you can use one of those coupons with one of those coupons. And then sometimes my out of pocket is like $0 for like paper towel. 
and it's crazy. Oh my god! There was one time I tried to record it, but like my phone died. So listen, if you guys are tuning in and watching us live, you can call in. It's three four seven six four zero three nine two zero. Once again, it's three four seven six four zero three nine two. Oh, and we would love to hear your opinion, especially on that video that we watched with El Dumio. <laughs> she's, so she's ignorant. Yeah, she's, she's not, done. She's not appreciative. No. Man, let me tell you something. Let me go on a date and you pull out a credit card. If it's that heavy Hello. black card, how you doing? Hello. You, you know we shopping after this? Exactly. Let's go to, Hello. Let's go to Nordstrom. Hello. No, cause Let's just try on. I'll be like, damn, right? I knew I should have ordered that bottle of wine. Take me right. to Lord and Taylor. Because that heavy, that heavy black Thank card, you. you could buy a house with that. Yeah. Buy a house, not 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 finance, and you can buy a house. Listen, don't you want you know, that's, 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 that's so true. true. Know the difference Swipe between it, the heavy black yeah. card and the cash app card. The cash app card <laughs> is black as well. <laughs> so you gotta go online and research to check the weight and know the difference. Don't go be like, oh my god, he rich and he got four dollars. <laughs> Uh-huh. On a cash app card. No, nah, you, know. you, you know the difference. You, yeah. you know no, the difference. No, you, you no, fi- some no. People, some you people don't. You feel that weight. Ed Bartlett says, uh, I worked for newspapers and we taught couponing classes. Coupons, oh, store coupons, plus manufacturer coupons. Awesome. You I need see? to learn how to do this. Yeah. And they, and they give out gift cards. It's it's actually, and they give out gift cards. It's actually much easier to coupon in the outer states. It's more difficult in New York because the prices yeah. are hard. Higher yeah, than yeah. usually over there, so usually you get uh, uh, rebates and uh, refunds higher than anything. And we gave out gift cards to sign up for subscriptions. Yeah, and then you can oh, always cool. use those gift cards in the next transaction. So the easiest way is to break them down, so it's not like you're putting it all one together. You just do it bit by bit, and it always lowers it down quicker. Wow. And so do you easier. also have to buy in bulk too in order to save money, or you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it really depends on the product and what the deal is. Sometimes it's easier if you just buy one of an item. Like, for instance, um, Dawn dishwashing liquid. Um, it's usually on sale in CVS for like 99 cents. But uh, P&G always has coupons that drop down the price. And you don't necessarily have to buy four and five of the same oh, thing. Okay. You can just buy, pick up one, use the uh, 25 cent off coupon, and just pay 74 cents for the same bottle that you could get a Dollar Tree for a dollar. Oh, so. mm-hmm. nice. I need to get on my couponing. I just wish I got, I found a woman who was like good about <laughs> stuff like that. Because I'm really lazy. I just like to go places and pick stuff up, and I lose stuff really. You need patience to do couponing. Yeah, you gotta have yeah, a lot of patience. I mean. <laughs> um, there, it's for the people who don't have like too much time and don't really like to keep clip coupons. There are always uh, digital apps that can um, you can just click on it and then it goes right to your card. Mm-hmm. And then once you swipe your card at whatever choice store it is, um, it usually comes right off. So, oh, yeah, nice. it's like the quick, easy way. But me, um, I kind of like doing it. <laughs> The you want to cutting way because it's actually um, it's more efficient. Like if I have to buy more than one of the product, mm-hmm. then the out of pocket is lower. As if you do digital coupon, it will only do it off of one item. Oh wow! Yeah. This is so interesting. I need to get this together. I want you on my show. Coupon 101. I want you on my show because Definitely, I want I to teach come. some people how here. to save some money because I think that'll be, you know, that'll be fun, you know? Yeah. How much time do we have left? I think we got. We have three. Okay. Because I'm, I'm like, we were talking for a while, so I didn't want to, like, talk. And he'd be like, all right, stop. I'm like, no, no, no. no, no. We're having such a great no, time no, with everybody. No, no. So, oh, wait, Do you have children? I do. I have two sons. You have two sons? One is 13 and one is two. Oh, the babies. How are you guys handling it? Because Christmas is coming up. All right. Now, do you usually give the, the, like, the, well, there's no more Toys R Us. But do you usually give, like, the book to your kids to, like, you know, circle what they want? Or do you just give them whatever you feel like they should get? Well, my daughter's in a stage where she watches TV a lot. So she's like, I want that for Christmas. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. Mm-hmm. So me, it's like, oh, you're going to get one thing and uh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> one big item and that's it. Mommy ain't got it like that yet. Exactly. Not yet. How and you have a lot of children. So well, I don't have to worry about the three oldest because they work, <laughs> they <laughs> care in college, and they're on their Phew. own. So <laughs> bye bye. But get y'all, <laughs> get your own. Let me stop. No. But um, my three youngest ones, like you know, they want a boxing gloves, they want a, a boxing bag. My daughter wants a dog. I'm like, look, I said, you know, let me get 
you what I feel that maybe you might like or most but see what they don't know is that they're gonna get what they need yes mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. you know what I'm saying like clothes shoes stuff that they may need for school you know stuff that's reasonable for them to 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 have I mean I'll get them a couple of toys yeah. I'll get them some, like you know stuff that they like also but the main focus that I'm focusing on this year is their necessities Aww. see me I'm, I'm a Christmas person like I love to buy but I just don't with when it comes to my my son. I O D. I O D. Well, I mean, if you I got it like that, it. So OD, like that then, yeah. then do it. Like I'm I, not gonna say I got it like not, that. But, but one day you're gonna have it like that. And he's gonna expect for that to happen. Yeah. And you're gonna get yourself into some stuff. He's a spoiled mm. rotten. Mm. So right. just just be careful yeah. how you spoil. I mean, yeah. everyone's okay to spoil. Yeah. You no, know, but then when, when you can't give him what he really wants. Then it's going to yeah. cause conflict. Do you spoil your kids or like is it? Um, Yes and no. So actually this year is kind of like the first year we're actually doing Christmas because we usually don't celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Hanukkah. So oh. it's a little easier. Um, with Hanukkah, you have like one gift um, for each day. Right. Um, so it's kind of new. We decided that we wanted to do Christmas this year because we have the little one. Um, but... For the little one, we usually just get him, like, toys and clothes and stuff like that, whatever we can afford. Shout out to that toy store on 3rd Avenue. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, that's where I'm going to. <laughs> um, but the older one, he knows what he wants. He's just like, I want the, you know, uh, the spray ground backpack or, yeah, that's you know. He just My like... son asks for the most ridiculous <laughs> stuff. He's like, yeah. oh, I want that box of Jordans. And, and he'll oh. go, and he's 17 now, so he'll go online and send me the link to what he wants <laughs> my and be like here's the link this is what I want I'm like what the heck like, no my son my will just have know. the screenshot in my phone like mm-hmm. I'm like was that from you like a, I know a it was. subtle hint uh, yeah. like is that this you pick up your phone me? in the background picture be a background or something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah my daughter Ciara she takes snapshots and she sends it to my phone and she's 11 Wow, these she's, kids are she's off the smart. hook. Mark. These kids are off the hook. These smart. kids are off the hook. But you know, I mean, I'm gonna try this year for Christmas. I'm not gonna overdo it for my son. Everybody else, sh- kids are gonna get gift cards, twenty dollar gift cards to to let them whatever. do whatever they want. Yeah, I take Visa. Gift cards. Visa twenty dollar gift, gift cards. Gift cards is a gift. I take gift cards. EBT, swipe. I take all of that. Money orders. I and I take credit cards too. I'm not biased. I take trippy treats on the side. Yes. So listen, we'll be right back. Cardi B and Offset are separating right they're not divorced yet but they're separating and she and she came out with a video it's pretty much saying you know they've been having trouble for a while now and you know it's the best thing that she feels like she should do is for them to to separate and i feel like that's really mature and i wonder if that was like a conversation that she had with like her pr people like oh do we think that this should be a good idea for us to do something you know what i'm saying to do something like that i don't know well, I, I personally think that um, if it got to the point where she was trying to make it public, um, that this conversation actually has been happening yeah. for a while. Um, because she did have a transition where she had no PR people for a while, but now she has PR people. So I'm assuming that something must have happened mm-hmm. where it was just like, mm-mm, boo. Like, I'm done. It's yeah. not happening. It, like, there's I'm going to no just way. say what I have to say. Yeah. You know, man, I, I respect her for her maturity. I feel like after she had the baby, you could tell. I don't care what nobody says. Mm-hmm. You could tell that she definitely like calmed, calmed down, down a little yeah. bit. I mean, a you baby know? will humble you. Yeah. yeah. I used to be your rah 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 rah, and then I got my daughter, and it's like mm, I can't do that like that. People yeah, well, who know me, I, w- I was still a little ratchet afterwards. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I had I had my reserves for my ratchetness. Yeah. You cross me the wrong way, you come at my child the wrong way. Of course, you're gonna get mama bear, you're gonna get the claws. Yeah. Yes. But I've toned down my mouth a lot because my mouth is super reckless. Anybody who knows me know my mouth is super I'm, reckless. I, you know, I've calmed down. I, w- I wouldn't say I calmed down when I had my son, like when I adopted him or whatever. Um, I, I calmed down as, as a sense of just being settled and not like moving around all the time from going from city to city, state yeah. to state. Yeah. But it kept me here. So my crazy just stayed in one spot. So if that's considered <laughs> calming down, it's just the crazy was not going to California. My crazy was just like, you know. 
Oh, here. So let's talk about. All right. Did you guys see the side chick video? The video with the girl, of course, oh, pretty much know. talking about Offset. She now, can save them crocodile tears for Oprah, honey. Literally, I feel like she did that video for attention. Honestly, she did. I think no, this is I, all for publicity. Dude. I think yeah. she did it because Offset was like, "Yo, I'm about to get separated with B now. It's all your fault." I heard that he had a threesome. With her and Cardi? No. No, I, I, her that, and somebody that's, else. Her and somebody else. And yeah. the plot that's thing what I, is. That's what my daughter told me. Listen, you know what? Honestly, just because, you know, I, I, I live the popular lifestyle or whatever, kudos to you if you're doing what you got to do and you uh, you choosing not to live your life in the monogamous, stereotypical type of way. Mm -hmm. But if you are doing that, make sure that the partner, the person that you're with, yeah, knows with your intentions, knows, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, how you're moving around this world so that they're not just left out in the in the cold. Exactly. And if for side chicks, if you know that you're sleeping with a guy and he has a wife or a girlfriend or whatever, play your part. That wife is not supposed to find out. You hear me? <laughs> you failed. <laughs> you, listen, you 007 <laughs> undercover do 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 you better be sliding under cars she come home you in closets in Jason the freaking kind of. crawl space <laughs> do your job yeah. do your job do your no. job your job is to be secret and do a no. secret, secret no. squirrel yes but yeah. <laughs> well, you know where the problem comes from he it, it stems from, you know, from social media and the media and you know you got all of these ratchet tv shows mm -hmm. and they glorify that side chick life yes, nah man. that's Listen, not cool i don't see anything wrong with being a side chick i'm not judging i've had some side chicks in my day all i'm saying is <laughs> you play your part you be quiet you get your coin you make your money and then you go about your business that's it yeah, don't bring up nobody's marriage, marriage. Yeah, don't everyone's on first you with it like whole his life like, side <laughs> chicks don't take no pictures and post it you take pictures when he take you out you take pictures of the stuff that he bought you but if he in the picture if you see his shoe in the picture delete the whole picture right. you know better Crop him yeah. out. if a piece of his shoestring is hanging in that picture you know you delete the don't po come on don't do that don't make it public this don't is why do these people that. got to find consent forms and stuff down like that <laughs> right. crazy. We, we, need to, we need to we need to write it down part. no we need an actual document sign here sign that yeah. like thank a you. we need you need a non disclosure thank you and then she was like i <laughs> feel really bad no you don't you don't Hell no, you don't. You, you feel don't bad, know bad about and not. Thank you. You, you just feel afraid that somebody anything. probably about to beat you up. Thank you. Okay. Cardi, Cardi B gonna, gonna whip that ass. Shoes, okay. <laughs> sure do. Okay. Cardi B okay. know how to fight. Listen, if she see you in the street, I hope TMZ is there mm -hmm. to be able to reward. First of all, TMZ is everywhere. Okay. Yeah, TMZ is watching. everywhere. <laughs> Trust Shout out to TMZ. Shout okay. out to TMZ. Get them. Get them. That's, yeah, that's where you get the bad. real good news from if you really don't realize I, don't, I wouldn't that. go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. You get the real TMZ. From TMZ. Yeah, we're going to show the video. Matter of fact, we're going to show the video real quick. We'll be right back. We're going to show the video. Offset since he's had his baby. Um, I didn't know how serious this marriage was. Um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but um, I haven't, like, I, it took until today to actually, like, get, get to this, um, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, yo, like, um, I took Cardi B's nigga or I'm the reason they're getting a divorce or anything. Like, I feel um, ashamed. Um, yeah. You know, like growing up, it's a lot. And the Academy Award goes like, to you. Oh, just come in from me and like. We don't want to act from the eyes. These were never my intentions, and I never wanted um, to break up. A happy you see how the crying stopped just now magically? Of someone just saying, like, fuck it. Um, to get a divorce her, so or she's faking like it so that. much. Mm -hmm. No, I'm she's faking it to make it. Mm -hmm. I would like her to know that um, I'm a very genuine person. You're an idiot. And um, I'm not here to uh, break up our family. Or but you did though. Mess up but you did. Now you're no, she did. She broke up their family. He broke up their family. Not her. Sorry that 
It's him. That's I mean, he's right the though. one that's married. Yeah, She's yeah, not married. Yeah. They both gotta her take responsibility. They both, they for both responsible. Y'all are they both no. Her loyalty is to herself. Her loyalty is not to him. His loyalty is to his wife. He's the one that took the oath. He's the one that took the oath. He's the one that. You understand what I'm saying? It's his fault that 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 that. I can tell. But why? She's stupid. But why would he even do that? I mean, Cardi's not a bad looking girl. Listen, but certain certain people are not able to be monogamous. His mind is surely. Offset, offset, offset. No, certain people are yeah. not meant to be monogamous, and I feel like a lot of men, if they start being honest with themselves and the women that they are dating, and telling them, "Listen, honest to God." I don't think monogamy is for me. I'm not going to even pretend to you mm. that it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the situation. So you know this time. is who I am. And then and, and, you know what I'm saying? And you keep that open, honest situation. Cause that's what happens when later on down the line, he cheated on you with all these freaking people. Now she's the dummy for staying and he's the dummy for cheating. Well, all he could have said was, you know what? I'm not a monogamous person. You right. understand what I'm saying? And gave, and gave the woman the choice to, what, to decide whether she feels like dealing with that or, or not. For that, yeah. maybe it meant you shouldn't even gotten married if he, if he was like that. Too. No, that, I, I disagree. Because why why can't you get married because you're just not monogamous? I don't feel like you you can't get married. You could just have your you know your people and 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 they'll have their people. There's plenty of married people who live polyamorous lives. Yeah, I, just I think it's just the it. stipulation on yeah. what they have in their marriage. Like mm -hmm. we don't actually know if she was actually cool with it until something happened. Because that's what yeah. it seems like. Yeah. It seems like she already knew because she already already knew about the other chick who was pregnant the last time mm -hmm. um and you know now it's just something else happened and all we see in is this video we yeah. actually don't know what's happening behind mm -hmm. closed yeah. doors yeah. we don't know what conversations they really had exactly because if she was trying to make it work for this time being there's something that's that has yeah. been brewing mm -hmm. like i don't i don't and she don't said it would happen agree. for a while she said right. that this has been brewing Right. For for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So see, because I don't pay too, too much attention to the TV. When you have kids at home, you barely have time to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I get my news so, from Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Twitter, I, I, I catch up that way when I can too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be on the feet like scrolling like oh <laughs> oh oh like when I saw the video with Cardi, I was just like, oh no, <gasps> poor kid. Yeah. yeah. Like, I oh my God. Fan. But you know, I, like I said, I, I really wish her the absolute best. It is what it mm -hmm. is. If he did cheat it, it well, let's put it like this. If him cheating was the reason why she decided to, you know, uh, get like separate, you know right. what I'm saying? Do what you got to do, mama. But just know that some people are just not monogamous. Right. And they're not bad people. They're bad for lying. They're not bad people for just not being monogamous. Right. They're bad people for lying about yeah. it. Yeah. That's the way that I and, hate liars. And if you're going to get a divorce, wait. Because right now you're getting that coin. And you know what that means. And listen, mm -hmm. my phone number is 347. No, stop. Yeah. I live in the Bronx party. If you need, like, somebody, a side chick. So, listen, I don't want to take pictures with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to even be making videos about me. Nobody even got to know. I could be carrying your bag. Listen. <laughs> listen. Holla. I know you available. You can still be married. Ain't none of my business. Offset, I don't want no beef, brother. But listen, <laughs> Jama man, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Miami gente, Jama. Yeah. Listen, listen. Oh, call, me. Yeah. <laughs> call me, girl. Shout out to I'm Cardi ready. B. Yes, we love you, honey. We, love we you, definitely girl. Whatever you need, we with you. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. And then, mind you, did you guys see a picture of the baby? She didn't post any pictures yeah, yet. Yeah, she did. She, she is adorable. They said she, did. She, she posted it right posted after it. she... Right yeah, after she posted, posted right the after. Yeah. I didn't see. See if you could get a picture she of the baby. She is so She adorable. is. Yes. So I want to see the baby. I want to see our baby, Cardi. Yeah. Stop hiding our baby from me, Cardi. Stop hiding our yeah, baby. Yeah, and even Fashion Nova reposted uh, the yeah, picture. Yeah, she reposted the picture. Really? Yeah. But then they got super shade thrown at them by their customers. They're like, oh, you got time to post this picture, and you can find this picture. Oh, my goodness. Where is my order? <laughs> <laughs> my daughter just texted me asking me, Ma, how does Papi wants to know how to get on Facebook Live? <laughs> Oh, that's He's so missing you. He wants to see you. Oh, that's so sweet. When we go on break, I'll text him. Yes, tell him or send her. Baby, the I link love you. I'm watch. sorry. I'll be right with you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Too cute. So we're still trying to pull up the baby. Is that the baby right there? Oh, oh my God. Oh God, bless her. That face. Oh, 
what a she is angel. look at cardi our daughter is beautiful cardi, <laughs> she's beautiful shout out to cardi b and oh culture. my god look yeah. at her yeah. little Baby pink all right god so bless her oh the Aww. baby that's my baby Cardi, listen, I mean, you know, let's make it work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that baby looked like it could be like me. It got a little cocoa brown. My complexion. Listen, we could make this. Yeah. We could make Caramela, this. Caramela. <laughs> I just hope that the resolve of their whole situation, that they can let's be grown so. enough to, to, yeah. to co-parent. Because yeah. that's one thing that this our culture and our community is lacking is the ability to co-parent. Yeah, no, I totally, totally agree. Put, put your feelings aside for each other. Put your relationship issues aside, but be there for the child. Yeah. I do. I feel like a lot of the times with women, when they're dating a man, and, you know, if the, quote, unquote, if the man does something wrong and you still want to be with him, they tend to use the child as, you know what I'm saying? Like, the kind of, yeah, like, hang it over your head. Like, well, if you don't want to be with me, then you can't see your, you know, your child and blah, blah, blah. Or giving them hell when they want to pick the baby up. And, I ain't and, got time for that. Thank you. And they want to yeah. be, you know, complaining and stuff and be like, oh, I'm doing this by myself. you doing this by yourself because you don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Let him be a parent. He doesn't yeah. have to be with you to be a parent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called co-parenting. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's so important. Um, it is. Because, you know, like, that's a kid. Mm -hmm. Like, my oldest son, his father, didn't really want to be in um, his life unless I was involved in it. Mm -hmm. So it was really difficult for me to be like, no, like, listen, I don't want to be with you. I don't want to deal with you. Like, spend time with your son. Like, if you take him to a basketball game, I don't need to be there. Yeah. You could mm -hmm. take him. Like, I would just try to eliminate myself so much from the situation, and he just didn't care. Wow. And it didn't feel bad because he would run around and tell people, you know, that, oh, I'm trying to see my son, but she don't want me to see him. That's a lot. Like I used to be like, mm -hmm. if you if you need money, you know, I'll give you money for you to come see him. Wow. If you if there's a problem, like my family, <laughs> my, my family, family is very very, 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 very open, open arms. She, she can admit, admit to it. Like, like we, we like, like my, my family, family needs somebody, somebody new, new, and, and they like, like, oh my gosh, gosh you're your family too, Aww. and that's it. You're like a part of the family, just like mine. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we had like a financial problem, if I had a financial problem, if he had an issue and he needed to come see his son, like my mom or my cousins would be like, "Yo, I'm gonna give you some bread. You can come over." But mm -hmm. he would never want to go out and make that initiative. So it's just like you know, you gotta be there for your children. Like yeah. you gotta step it up. Like. I'm not 100% saying that, you know, it's 100% his fault. But you know what? We still got to work together. Exactly. If you don't want to be his life, fine. I'm not going to push it. That's right. That's right. Like, exactly. it, it's too much. Like, it's too much. Yeah. So, it takes two to pound a child. It took two to make him. It took two okay. to make him. That's right. I totally agree. And just because I'm gay, I I've always got to use that. Just like, <laughs> I, I, I do feel like children need a father in their life or like a strong right. male, male figure. Right. The do. same way that they Structure need a, a mother. You understand what I'm saying? Because I, yeah, I grew up, you know, just being open and honest. I grew up without a mother and a father. I grew up with my mother's adopted father Dito. who pretty wow. much raised me yeah. or whatever. And, you know, and it took a, a huge chunk of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would never have a mother. You know what I'm saying? So to mm -hmm. realize that I would never have a mother and I would never have, I never have a father. So I always, you know, when I do have children, I would want my children to have both, both parents, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or at least have a strong male figure and a strong female figure, mm -hmm. you know, both in their life so that they can, you know, they can be balanced. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. don't, don't take That's them kids. True. Don't take them kids away from the daddy. Don't do that. Yeah. See, don't take that, them away that, from the that, mama. That's the, issue, that's the issue that, that I'm facing. And vice you know, versa. With, yeah, yeah. With, with my daughter's but father. I don't, I don't ever stop him from wanting to talk to her or nothing. I don't keep him from that. I let him know all the time. Listen, you know, he lives six hours away. I'm like, listen, you could come first thing in the morning, come pick her up, come drop off in the night. You ain't got to hang, hang out with me. Exactly. You don't have to come and lay up under me because I already told you, I'm not like any of your exes. You're not going to come lay down with me afterwards. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. these, these legs is closed to you, buddy. That's your next With me, with right. me, my oldest daughter, like, he let her down. Like, I, I get what you're saying, and I agree with what you're saying. Not to keep that away, but I kept my eldest daughter's father away from her because he hurt her. Oh, got you. So many times. But on that's her, understandable. On, on her sixth birthday, she was on the window pane like this, waiting for him to come. And she would watch all the cars as they were parked in front of the building. Aww. And... Kids oh, never forget God. that. Oh, and she didn't forget about that. And I have a 
yeah. about that. Yeah. And, you know, now he wants to step up and be dad. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Now you're 18. That's you can you. choose. That's our decision. You know what you I'm saying? You can choose. You know, take him for every penny that you can. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I can definitely, you know, uh, you know identify with that. Jordan's I, didn't out. To, I didn't want him to hurt her anymore. No, I understand. Yeah. You know, because she was let down from him for so many years from the day she was born. He left me when she was three months old. Wow. To be with the next girl. And she wasn't even nothing. And like, I understand you know that that's, that's frustrating, but at the same time. It hurt her. It hurt her. Oh. That's oh, that's scary. Yeah, no, I was like, wait. Yeah, I thought that's there was ghosts up in here I for a second. Like, literally, I was like, yeah, oh, I thought you were ghosts. Too, right? I was like, take the chance. We were just talking about spiritually <laughs> too, right? Yeah, I was like, the spirit too. Get the sage. Yeah, right I got the sage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but, but, but that's that's just how. I mean, it was probably wrong for me to do what I did, but I did it to protect her. Yeah. No, I totally understand. Like for me growing up, I would always like, my mother would call and I would hear my mother and she'd be like, oh, I'm coming to see you today or I'm coming and it'll be like two months later or three months later. One time I didn't even see her for three years. But you know, my grandfather always made sure that when my mother wanted to see me, he would let her see me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. just a huge part of my life you know and he would be like okay if you want to see her you can't take her outside or you know what i'm saying give her yeah. boundaries because my mother was long but, like my mother would just leave me places she was crazy right. so but you know god, god rest the dead but she Amen. you know she got better when she got right, older right. but my grandfather always made sure that i was able to see her right. you know what i'm but saying but there's also there's also a saying in spanish for the latinos that know for all of us that i'm going to um, translate it for you no es la padre que lo hace es que la padre que se lo crece Meaning, it's not the man that makes the baby; it's the man that raises the baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You understand? Yeah, so my man stepped up to the plate and helped me raise my three oldest, and then I had. Yeah. Three oh. So it all depends on the relationship and on the people, yes. you know, and the couple. Yeah. You know. That's, Shout that's out to right. men who, who step up. Step, step up, step up, to, step up to the plate. To yep. Shout out to my hubby; he stepped up to the plate. <laughs> and keep on stepping, baby. Before you step out, let me stop. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet, but it's a, we have five more minutes. Five more until minutes until the end, until we're out. Oh my oh, god! No. Anyone want to call, call us? Call us at three four seven six four zero three nine two zero. We yes. haven't had any phone calls yet, guys. Come on, call. Yes, they're just excited, you know, listening to us. To okay, Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much, so much, so much fun with you guys. I really did. And I, we, have to, we, we have to do this again. We have to do I'm like the hype crazy one up in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Girl, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm I'm crazy. I turn I turn oh. up. Shout out! Wait, last night I went to the La Mega um um reggaeton concert at the oh, Garden. Wow. Was yeah. It was so dope. And first of all, let me tell you, <laughs> I honestly, you know, I thought that everybody would be late because you know people be on Dominican and Puerto Rican time. <laughs> it, started, it started on time. It started at wow. eight o'clock, and they had those people on and off, on and off like clockwork. That's like good. it was. Complete. They had so many performers. When I say it was, a, it was absolutely amazing. It was so. I, mean, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. I had my best friend because I understand. You don't know Spanish, but don't know hablar. So you know what I'm saying. So I understand. But you speaking pretty good. No, I'm okay. You, I'm okay. You had me fooled, child. But there's certain <laughs> moments where I'm like, oh shoot, I don't know what you know. I don't know what they said. So I'm tapping my friend like, <laughs> like well, she was like, oh, he said, I'm like, yeah. And I <laughs> But I had a really, really, really good time. I really did. Becky B was there. Was her name? Be no, Becky, Becky G. G. Becky G is adorable. Isn't she cute? I love her. I'm like, yo, I want to put she you in nice my pocket. Voice. And she can sing. She yeah. sounds really, really, really. Don Omar turned Don Omar, up. Of course, Don Omar He played all up. the old school. Like, mm -hmm. yo, it was it was yeah. turned up. He was like, hey, every everybody hey, was up hey, dancing. Hey, and I dressed <laughs> like a girl. So, so for those of you guys who are following me, Hold up. Yes. Oh that my was me God. last night. You was looking like extra snatch. Right. Thank you. you look so beautiful. Oh, I wouldn't even know that was you. you right? Yeah, I had the girls the versatile. Yes. 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 Yo, I had wow. such a beautiful outfit. That's right. Yeah. Wow. I had a really good time. You called, girl? I, 
Oh, look at me. I miss having my breast out. That's one thing that I, I, I miss about, like, dressing girl. <laughs> is having my cleavage out. No, Ain't nothing wrong with you dressing up like that every once in a while. Yeah, that, I'm gonna, that was my first time dressing girly in, like, at least two years maybe i would yeah. say so, and i enjoyed it so i'm gonna do it more, do it often. more often baby girl live yeah live i have really nice breath i want to have love. them out <laughs> listen live your life to the fullest you only live once you're right, right. you're right go for it girl. and i was go so happy you. because i was like i hope nobody hits on me but then i kind of do want them to hit on me so that i can feel <laughs> like oh i still got it so when a guy hit on me i was like i'm gay but i was like thank you <laughs> But listen, honey, as long as you got it still going on, baby girl. So don't worry about nothing, honey. Worry about worry about when you don't get those looks and when you don't get those wraps. Yes. It's like you know your breast is sagging or something's wrong. You gotta fix it. Oh, oh yeah, that's oh more pictures of me. Go on. Bye. Bye. Got the girls all sitting up. That's yeah, right. man, yeah. I had on two bras. Beautiful. <laughs> to hold them up because they like have look at them. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? I wouldn't even recognize Twins you. Twins look good. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't even recognize you. Yeah, no. that's me. No. Um, Yo te bendiga. Yes, yes. You. So listen, we're, we're running out of time. Aww. So please, I need you guys to drop your SoundCloud, drop your Instagram. Where can people find you, support you, you as an artist, and you as you're still like a cake artist. You're still an artist. And I am an artist. I make, yeah. artist. I make yeah. art. Like my things are, are are beautiful. I make art, and I always keep improving. So it's because you're beautiful. If you'll see too. something one way, and they're like, oh, okay, well, it looked like that before, but then you can get something. Oh, oh, she set it up. Yeah. So yeah, you can find me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook at Checkmate Sweets LLC. I ship nationwide and I do local deliveries in New York City. Yay. And what about you, beautiful? Oh, you're so sweet. So are you beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me on Facebook, Lulu Destiny Rios. And you could also find me on IG on Lulu Destiny Rios one. And I close my Twitter because I basically use IG and Facebook. And my SoundCloud is Lulu Menage Three, Ew. all lowercase yeah. letters. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Where can people stalk you? Well, you guys know where you can find me on Coupon Instagram. <laughs> I'm on Instagram as Catherine underscore J, or on Facebook as Catherine Vermeze. Make sure you follow me, DM me. If you want to be a guest on my show, yes. just make sure you shout it out and tag me in it. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, make shout sure out. Tag her, tag her. Oh, I also want do. to add with my desserts, I do non-dairy vegan. I do a CBD edibles and I do sugar free as well. I'm hungry. Listen, I'm starving. Oh, I'm Look, sorry. Shay's like, oh, you, you my new best friend. I'm asking her why she <laughs> didn't bring any to for us these, today. Girls. I'm a little upset that she didn't bring anything for us next today. Next time, next time. Thank oh, you. And I had some. I had some extra in the in the house. Don't so. push it. Oh. I, I don't, Can don't, you don't, stop? Don't, Thank don't, you. Stop. stop in the house because we was enjoying it in the house and we decided not to bring anything for you. She's so always extra in the house. Yeah. And guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Shay Marie G. SWB Radio. I'm on ninety. 2.9 FM. I'm also the CEO of, you know, SWB Radio Bronx Poetry Nights. So guys, if you're an artist, yes. hit me up. I'm also the CEO of Sip and Paint NYC and we do Sip and Paint parties. And uh, yes. 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 yes, Sip and Paint NYC. I yes. 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 Listen, let us we're going to network. Please. We're going to get know. it together. Yes. We're going to get it together. I do alcohol infused too. Ooh. Yes, I, I like do. that. Ooh, yeah. Get this coquito going. flavor. Yes. Ooh, coquito. Penito. Yeah, I do coquito, coquito flavors. <laughs> coquito. Uh, I do bourbon brownie. Yeah. I'm creative. <laughs> Listen. Can you do me a favor? She's Next crazy. time I see you, can you just have some goodies in your pocket? I will. Like just I, I'm have a, in I'm your a, pocket. I'm going to bring like a little bag. Like do you make brownies Thank too? You. I do make brownies. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> I have about 15 different flavors that I have in my oh, menu. Oh, Lord, honey. She's yeah, making me hungry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely I, gonna, I make custom orders, She's going to be my best teacher. So there's something you, that if <laughs> okay. you can think of it, there's I can make it. Room, right? wow. I've done peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, butter and, and jelly? Yes, I did peanut butter and jelly. Pumpkin pie, sweet potato Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, apple pie. I don't bake anything. Peanut butter and jelly pie. And it's not, it's all non-baked. I never heard of that. All non-baked. I never heard of that. How does that work? And they're banging. How do you do that? Can you tell us how you do that? I can't. Sorry. Damn. It's all healthy stuff. It sounds so good, though. But I think non-baked has to be healthy. And I do, I have a minimal, minimum ingredient. So listen, so he's telling us to wrap up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to us today. We had so much fun. I had so much fun taking over the LDM Network. Hey, shout out to my peoples. You know who you are. 